Hi, MJ here from MyNextTablet.com. Today with an unboxing of the brand new Xiaomi Book S, a 12.4 inch Windows tablet with a keyboard and a pen. Let's get started. <laughs> Alright, let's start the unboxing of the Xiaomi Book S 12.4. It's a Windows tablet that's available in a couple of countries now, including Germany where I bought it and I had to pay 699 euros without any accessories. If you want to get the keyboard cover and the active stylus, then you have to pay extra for those or hope that you can find a nice bundle. So let's start the unboxing and inside the box we've got the tablet first. It looks like, you know, your standard 12 inch Windows tablet. And then we've got a pretty big user manual and nothing else. No cable, no charger, nothing else is inside the box. I also got the keyboard. So let's unbox the keyboard. And we already see that the keyboard cover consists of two parts two parts, unlike the keyboard for the Microsoft Surface Pro series. So we got a back cover and then a keyboard with an integrated touchpad. And then again, we have a user manual for the keyboard. And um, in my case, when I put the Xiaomi Book S and the keyboard cover into the shopping cart, I also got for free this Xiaomi charger, which is a 65 watt charger with USB-A and C plug and it also has a USB-C cable inside. So I got that one for free, but I'm not sure if that's just like a limited thing or if everybody gets it. But well, that's what I got. But of course you can charge it with most USB-C chargers that you've got for your other laptops or something. All right, as usual, a couple of hours have passed since I shot the first part of this video and I already can tell you a little bit more about this tablet because I played with it quite a bit already. First of all, let's check out the design. We've got a 12.4 inch screen here, or to be exact, it's 12.35 inches. It's a standard LCD. Then we've got a webcam over there and also an infrared sensor because it is supporting Windows Hello facial recognition. Xiaomi calls it Face ID, just as Apple does. And let me demonstrate it. That it works pretty well and it yeah, didn't have any issues recognizing me so far. So it should work just like it does on the Microsoft Surface Pro 8. Uh, with the webcam, you can record full HD videos. Then we've got slim black screen bezels around it. And on the back, we've got an aluminum magnesium alloy. Again, similar to Microsoft Surface Series. What I noticed is that you can see fingerprints very easily. I cleaned it before I recorded this video and there's a little bit still or again visible. So magnesium aluminium alloy body, which feels quite nice. And we've got a 13 megapixel webcam over here. This weighs 720 grams, which is quite light for a Windows tablet. And it's 8.95 millimeters thin or thick compared to an iPad or an Android tablet in this price class, those are usually much, much thinner. Well, let's look around the tablet. We've got a speaker here and another speaker on this side. And the sound quality is okay. It's not amazing like an iPad Pro or a Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 has much better speakers, but the sound quality is okay. The only downside is that they are placed on the lower half here so that if you're holding it like this and are sitting on a sofa or you know lying in bed or something and are watching a movie then your hands or playing a game then your hands are covering the speakers which is not amazing. On higher end tablets from other brands like you know Android tablets and iPad Pros it's not so much of an issue because they have four speakers so it's okay if you cover one or two but yeah that's just not ideal here. But I guess you won't get a Windows tablet for um, mostly entertainment purposes anyways. If you go further around, we've got a micro SD card slot over here. It's supposed to hold, I think, 512 gigabyte cards. Then we've got a USB-C port, which you can also use to connect USB-C hubs and also external monitors. Then we are getting a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, a power button, volume rockers, then the speakers again on the top. We've got the microphones and on the bottom we have the connector for the keyboard cover. 
Now let's get to the screen. Like I said, it's a 12.4 inch or more a 12.35 inch screen according to the Xiaomi spec sheet. And it's a standard LCD IPS screen, which is fully laminated by the way, which is nice. And I also think that colors look nice. Contrast is pretty good as well. This is a standard 60 Hertz screen, unlike the Microsoft Surface Pro 8 and unlike the high-end tablets from Samsung and Apple. Um, but similar to the Microsoft Surface Pro 7, which also had a standard 60 hertz screen, for the most part, that is fine. We've got a resolution of 2560 by 1600 pixels, and that means that text and icons look sharp enough. And overall, I think the screen is a pretty good one. It's 500 nits bright, which is the same as the Apple iPad Air, but the iPad Pro is a bit brighter at 600 nits. So much about the screen and then let's check out the pen. I didn't show you this pen in my unboxing because I didn't unbox it. I already bought this pen for the Xiaomi Pad 5, which is their Android tablet. And what's very nice by Xiaomi is that the Android tablet and the Windows tablet use the same pen. That's also what Samsung is doing with their S pens. But for example, Lenovo is doing something else. They're, they've got tons of different pens and yeah, different tablets with different pens, which is not great. But if a manufacturer has just one pen, like Xiaomi does, um, that's very nice. So if you've got the Android tablet, the Xiaomi Pad 5, and bought the pen for that one, then you don't need to pay again. You can just use the pen on this tablet. So I like that. You connect it magnetically to the side like this, and the pen consists of, um, well, the pen, the pressure sensitive tip, and then we've got two buttons on the side here. There's no button on the top. And you know, it's your standard pen. It feels just like a regular pen in your hand, you know, similar to the Microsoft Surface Pen, for instance, and it works the same. Obviously, we've got Windows 11 running on the Xiaomi Book S, and that means it supports all the pen features from uh, Windows and Microsoft is really good with those since they've been supporting styluses like since there was a Windows XP version that supported styluses and most of those features still exist and we've got this little pen menu here which you can customize yourself. I've got it cut as uh, customized so that you can use it to take screenshots annotate it to Microsoft OneNote, Paint and you can customize it more. You can also go into the standard pen settings and then customize the pen a bit more. So as you know, in Windows, the pen is very well supported. And I like to use it with Microsoft OneNote. That app is basically uh, made for the Surface Pro series to use with the pen, which means it also works great on the Xiaomi Book S with the pen. As you can see, I didn't have any issues there. Now, since this is a 60 Hertz screen, it does not look like the pen reacts as fast as on a 120 hertz screen. But that's mostly an issue if you're drawing fast. If you're drawing, like if you buy a tablet for drawing fast, I would probably get the Surface Pro 8 instead or the flagship tablets from Samsung and Apple with 120 hertz screens. But for mostly handwriting, 60 hertz is totally fine and most people won't notice the difference with handwriting. Now let's get to the internal hardware. Inside the Xiaomi Book S runs the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 CX processor, which is a Gen 2 chipset. So yes, this is an ARM chip. We also get 8 GB of RAM and a 256 GB internal storage. And unlike the newest Microsoft tablets, you cannot exchange the SSD yourself. So yes, we have Windows on ARM here. This is an ARM chipset, just like on the Microsoft Surface Pro X. So it directly competes with that one. And that also means we've got Windows on ARM here and also Windows 11 in S mode, which at the moment means that you can only install apps from the Microsoft Store. And that's why I'm not showing you any benchmarks yet, because for the first couple of days, I want to use the Xiaomi Book S like a regular user would who would buy it from Xiaomi. And um, yeah, many people maybe don't want to turn off the S mode. And also I want to test the battery life in S mode and so on. So I'm not showing you benchmarks yet, but you can already see Asphalt 9 running here. That's a game. It does not run good at high graphics and there's a lot of stuttering, 
but when setting the graphics to medium, the game is quite well playable. And everything else runs pretty well as well, especially the Microsoft Edge browser runs super smooth. Office apps run very smooth on here. That's all to be expected. And even Adobe Lightroom runs, as you can see, and it does run pretty well, but not amazing. Like it's much smoother on an iPad or even on most Android tablets. But I think in this case, it's mostly a problem of Adobe because I've got a very expensive laptop and their Lightroom is a little bit stuttery as well. So that's just um, Lightroom on the Windows device in general is not crazy fast. Sadly, Adobe should fix that. Yes, yeah, since we've got here Windows on ARM, I'm also not showing any Photoshop performance or any, you know, high-end Fortnite gaming performance that probably won't even run on here. Let's get to the keyboard cover. Uh, like I said at the beginning, there are two parts to the cover. First of, God, first of all, we've got this back part, which is connected magnetically to the back of the tablet, like this. And you can then fold out a kickstand like this and you can put it in many angles, which is nice. However, I already checked how um, strong the magnets are and they are okay for holding it like this. But when you're grabbing it fast or something, I wouldn't because just a little bit uh, too much force and then it's falling. So the magnets are not crazy strong. They could be stronger like their tablets where the magnets are way stronger. So not so strong magnets here, keep that in mind, but otherwise the kickstand here works pretty well and then you connect it to the cover like this. Sadly, you cannot put the keyboard at an angle like you can on the Surface series from Microsoft. It's always lying flat on a table, but it has a background light and the keyboard is pretty good. Like it's a really good keyboard. I was immediately comfortable writing with it and also the touchpad is big enough and yeah, it's a good touchpad. So in general, this keyboard cover, I think is a very good one. Now let's get to the software. Like I said, on the Xiaomi Book S is running Windows 11 on ARM, first of all, because of the ARM chipset. And then we've got Windows 11 in S mode. And that means that out of the box, you can only install apps from the Microsoft Store which um, has a decent selection, but not an amazing selection. For example, the Chrome browser is missing. And also Adobe Photoshop and so on is missing. You've got uh, Photoshop elements if you want to buy that, but standard Photoshop is missing. You can install Lightroom, you can install you know, many games and so on. And there are many apps like for Spotify, Netflix, Prime Video and so on, but also many like all the benchmarks I wanted to run are missing, so you cannot install those while being in S mode. However, you can deactivate the S mode very easily. It's just a couple of clicks and then it's restarting and then you've got your standard Windows 11 in the standard home edition. And then you can install apps from the web as well. Like you can go to Google and download Chrome and it should run fine on here. The same should be possible for Photoshop and many other apps, but certainly not all apps because this is Windows on ARM and that means that many traditional x86 apps are running in an emulation only. That means that those apps won't run as fast as native Windows on ARM apps do. So keep that in mind. So this won't be as fast for those um, like the Surface Pro 8 for instance. And I don't think Adobe Premiere Pro and similar video editing apps will even run on here and certainly not great if they do. So keep that in mind for the Xiaomi Book S. This is not your standard Intel laptop replacement because it's an ARM chipset. If you want your traditional uh, Windows PC experience, like you've got a Windows PC and you want the same on a tablet, then you should get the Microsoft Surface Pro 8 or another Windows tablet with an Intel chipset but not an ARM Qualcomm chipset because there you will run into some issues. This is mostly interesting if you just want to experiment a bit with Windows on ARM or if you mostly want to use Microsoft Office apps and the Microsoft Edge browser, which is based on Chromium, so it runs great. And um, yeah, for those purposes, the Xiaomi Book S is pretty good. But if you want to really run traditional Windows apps, x86 apps, 
then um, the performance won't be as good on here. And by the way, the same goes for drivers. Like if you've got some special device, maybe a 3D printer or something like that, like a special device where you need traditional drivers for, you might not be able to install them properly. So that really, you have to keep that in mind with the Xiaomi Book S. It does not always behave like a traditional Windows laptop. Okay, so much about the Xiaomi Book S. I'm very excited to start my review now. And um, my first impressions are okay. Like the, it's a very interesting tablet, but I'm not sure yet if and for who I will recommend it. But I like that we get a magnesium alloy body here. The screen is pretty good. I like the keyboard cover. I really like that you can use the same pen as with the Xiaomi Pad 5. And in general, this is a very interesting tablet. But because of the ARM chipset, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8CX Gen 2 chipset, this is not a tablet for everyone. That's certainly for sure. For some, it might be very interesting, but for most people, probably not because, you know, a general user expects the standard laptop um, experience when getting a Windows tablet. And that's certainly not what you're getting with the Xiaomi Book S. It might be very interesting for some people, and I'm really excited to test it, like to review it further. Um, it's just really interesting. Like I like to experiment with Windows and ARM again for a bit, but I think for most people, this won't be the best tablet to get. But for some, you know, if you're into experimenting and so on, then it could be quite interesting. All right, that's been my unboxing of the Xiaomi Book S. If you have any questions, write me down below. I'm NJ for MyNextTablet.com. Thanks for watching and see you next time.